On the morning of November 20th, 1980, 12 men were drilling for oil beneath Lake Peña in Louisiana. Within just three hours, however, a series of events would transform it from shallow freshwater into a saltwater lake almost a quarter mile deep. At the time, Lake Peña was an unremarkable body of water located off the Gulf of Mexico. It had a depth of just 11 feet. A botanical park was located on Jefferson Island, and oil rigs dotted the landscape. Located below the lake was a diamond crystal salt mine. On the morning of November 20th, an oil rig belonging to a contractor of Texaco was probing for oil underneath the lake when the drill bit suddenly seized up 1,230 feet below the surface of the lake. While attempting to pry the drill bit loose, which is normally fairly easy at that depth, workers instead heard several loud pops and the rig began to tilt precariously towards the water. Convinced that something bad was about to happen, the workers cut the attached barges loose, exited the rig and made it to shore 300 yards away. Shortly afterwards, they witnessed the drilling platform overturn and collapse into what was supposed to be a shallow lake. The water then began to turn, and steadily accelerated until it became a whirlpool a quarter of a mile in diameter, with its centre directly over the drill site. In the mine below, an electrician heard a loud, strange noise coming down the corridor. He was astounded to see water flooding into the mine, and sounded the alarm. Incredibly, all 50 miners working that morning managed to escape from the mine. Texaco, who had ordered the drilling, was aware of the salt mine. Somehow there had been a huge miscalculation leading to the drill penetrating the salt mine below the lake. As the fresh water poured into the 14-inch hole, it quickly dissolved the salt, making the hole grow bigger by the second. Meanwhile, on the surface of the lake, the whirlpool was causing mass devastation. Another nearby drilling platform, a large loading dock, 70 acres of soil from Jefferson Island, trucks, trees, and a parking lot were swallowed whole. A fisherman later reported, That water was roaring. I'm not kidding you a bit. The wind was blowing and everything. The whirlpool's force was so strong that it reversed the flow of the nearby Del Cambra Canal, which connected the lake to the Gulf of Mexico. A further 11 barges were sucked from the canal into the lake's gaping hole. After three hours, the lake was a vast, deep crater. The water from the canal, now flowing in from the gulf, formed a 150 feet tall waterfall into the cavity where the lake had been. As the lake slowly refilled over the next two days and the water pressure equalized, nine of the sunken barges popped back up to the surface like corks, although the drilling rigs were left in the ruined salt mine. Despite the enormous destruction, no human lives were lost in the disaster, nor had there been any serious injuries. What was previously an 11 feet deep freshwater lake was now a saltwater lake 1300 feet deep. The lake's ecology was changed drastically, and it became home to many species of saltwater plants and fish that had not previously been there. A spokesperson for Texaco admitted that the drill, quote, may have entered a shaft. Numerous lawsuits were filed and were settled out of court for multiple millions of dollars. There was no official cause for the disaster, as all the evidence was buried at the bottom of the submerged mine. The owners of the Crystal Diamond Salt Mine received $45 million in damages, or $185 million today, from both Texaco and the drilling company, and got out of the salt mining business for good.